All right. Good afternoon to you. Welcome back to Shave with Fuzzy. I'm Fuzzy. How y'all? Hope everything's going good. So this is Wednesday. Yes, it's definitely Wednesday afternoon. So it is Williams Wednesday, without a doubt, with the Cafe Bustillo. And uh, we're going to use Modern Williams, because I think last time I used the Vintage Williams Shave Stick. So we're going to use Modern Williams. We're going to do that with a horsehair brush. Williams loves a horse brush, just like it loves a boar brush. Anything else. And we're going to use our brush scuttle this time to see how it works with the Williams. Now, if you haven't seen my brush scuttle, this is something my sister bought me. This one came from Dirty Bird Pottery. So it's two vessels. You got hot water in the bottom, and you got this cone shape in the top, and you put it in, and it heats up the top vessel. And you get the soap and all on the brush. And you put it down in there and it warms the lather up and then you lather up and then you put it back in between lather passes and it warms it back up so that you've got warm lather for the shave, which is a very, very nice thing. And then we're going to use our heart mug here. This looks like a wood mug. It's really not. It's ceramic or whatever, something like that. And uh, But it looks like a, uh, a wood mug. So I've had that for quite some time and I keep my modern, my modern Williams in it. So to start things off... If we're going to use the brush scuttle, we start with a fairly dry brush. It doesn't have to be really damp for this procedure. And then uh, we're going to load it up with some Williams here. And again, this is just a cake of modern Williams. So speaking of Williams, and I meant to have a prop. So just a second, once I get this up, I'm going to, I'm going to show off something I learned the other day. Thanks to uh, one of the fellas over at the shave den. I think it was Big D. But uh, that had mentioned this, and I went back and looked it up, but I didn't realize uh, a little something. And we're going to show you in just a minute what's happening. So we're going in on a night shift again tonight. That's, uh, you know, not such an unusual thing. I showed up for a night shift last night and ended up there was a bit of a, a bit of a scheduling thing so I ended up I didn't work last night so I'm gonna go in tonight and make up for it so there we go with some Williams ready to go we're gonna put that in our brush scuttle and y'all bear with me half a second here while I reach behind me into the other supply closet and bring out this so did you know I did not know the original ivory soap now this is just a plain old ivory it floats that was always the big thing about it they're about I don't know you can get them three for a dollar I mean they're cheap the original ivory soap was called Ivorite I believe and it was made by JB Williams same people that make Williams soap and they sold it to uh, I guess Procter & Gamble if I remember correctly to uh, concentrate on their shave soap so there you go little trivia I didn't know ivory soap was originally made by JB Williams how you like it I thought that was pretty neat Alright, so while our lather is warming up over in our brush scuttle, well, let's see, well that's the boss calling. We'll give her a call back in just a minute. She should be expecting, expecting me to be getting ready. Alright, we're going to wipe the old face off here and get ready for a shave. Got us a nice day's growth there. So there we go. So another thing to show that uh, Fuzzy is moving along, look where it came in the mail. Looky there, my AARP card came in. <laughs> I don't know. I'm okay with it. What did I knock off? Not real sure what I knocked off. Eh, whatever it was that sounded plastic, it'll be fine. So there we go. So that's uh, another thing about today is AARP. So our nice warm, oh that is nice. Nice warm Williams lather from our modern Williams. Very, very nice. This is a uh, Bylong horsehair brush. You know, I really, really, really enjoy the horsehair brush. Some of them are longer and have a longer loft and they're floppy. I didn't like those as much. I gifted that one to somebody. Uh, but uh, this one with the, the more boar-like loft to it and uh, it feels a lot like a boar brush to me and i really like it so there we go with some williams on 
Then we're going to put the brush back in the brush scuttle, and with our second pass, we should have some nice warm ladders. So we're yurking out the 1912 head today on the handle by uh, Patrick999 from Canada. And I did order the uh, flat top badger brush to put in one of the handles he made me. So before too long, it takes that a little while to come in. It's coming all the way from China. And uh, maybe it doesn't have any excess tariffs on it yet. I don't think they're worried too much about the uh, shaving stuff. In that little trade war thing or whatever it is going on. Anyway, that'll be coming in and we'll have a new brush to show off. With a hand-made, hand-turned handle from our Canadian buddy. Yes, indeed. All right. Go ahead and clean up a little bit around the old goatee there. Just so like it out of. Then we'll go for round number two with this nice, warm Williams lather. Boy, look at that. That is nice. It is all rubbed in there. Do a little painting. You like a little painting strokes there? You know, if I could do a Bob Ross voice, I'd talk about painting pretty little trees, but I can't really do that Bob Ross voice. We'll just use the voice I got and talk about painting them pretty little trees. Yes, indeed. That's what we're going to talk about right there. All right, so here we go with across the grain. Now, some people, if you don't watch my videos all the time, you might wonder where the against the grain pass is. And people who do watch my videos probably get tired of hearing it. But uh, we don't do against the grain. We're not worried about a BBS shave. Because the BBS shave is just kind of a myth type thing anyway. You can get it. But after a couple of hours, it's all gone and back to being more of a sandpaper anyway. So, why take the time? Of course, you'll still get the folks that say, you know, hey, it's worth the time because my wife, girlfriend, significant other, whatever, really like that smooth feeling. And, you know, more power to you if that's what you like. I don't see the point. So just to prove I'm getting a little age on me, I actually had taken a day off. Had to be sure I didn't work today because I had a doctor's appointment. Go in for my, uh, you know, checkup and that kind of stuff. All the normal stuff you would do. Well, it's the first time I went to this doctor. I've got on new insurance and I wanted to try a new doctor. I'm going with uh, a different little pediatric, or not pediatric, but physicians group. That's it. So I show up and I go in and I give her my name and tell her it's my first time there and she looked like me like I grew an extra eye or something. Yeah, I come to find out my point was actually tomorrow, not today. I was a day off of when that there appointment was. I'd have sore when I made it that it said it was for Wednesday. I meant it to be for Wednesday. That's the day I wanted to choose. But apparently when I was on my phone scrolling through the open appointments, uh, I hit Thursday instead of Wednesday. Anyway, so I'm working tonight and tomorrow night, so I guess I'll be a little tired when I show up at the doctor's office in the morning. Eh, it's okay. I do stuff when I'm a little tired all the time. Just the way it goes. All right, we're going to do a little witch hazel thing, and I can tell you right now, it's a beautiful shave from that 1912 head. That handle's got a little length to it. Makes it a nice long handle. And I don't particularly think that affects the shave one way or the other, as I've said before. I don't think a long handle makes a better shave. A long handle makes a harder shave. It's just a handle. Technique of trump all that. Once you learn to shave. Now, I've said before, and I'll say again, because I don't want anyone coming along yelling at me. What am I talking about? I don't care if someone comes along yelling. But anyway, I say all the time, if you have really, really big hands... I could see where a razor that had a handle more like this would uh, would suit you better than one that didn't. All right, nice and cleaned up. The goatee's all nice and cleaned up. We're gonna hit it a little bit better. Now this is a uh, carbon steel blade. 
Now I don't know how many shoes it's got on. It's it's got some shoes on it. It's not brand new, but it's got some shoes on it. So someone was asking about the cigars I like, and I like Maduros, but I don't get into the the more fancy stuff. I don't like flavored cigars, and yeah, you know, I don't get into the coffee infused and all this stuff. Uh, most of the ones I, I smoke are more of the budget smokes. Uh, to throw out a couple of brand names, Casa de Garcia has a really good uh, budget. That's a Dominican, and I generally like my Dominican cigars. And uh, but uh, Drew Estates has one they call Factory Smokes, and that's their budget, more budget line. So I like those. And I've also been smoking some Quorum uh, here lately. Now, one thing I did get in the other day that I really liked from one of the members over at the Shaved Den, Krusty Cat had sent me some pipe tobacco that I've talked about and I've been smoking it too uh, in various various pipes. It was some Lane 1Q and that's been a really good pipe tobacco. So there you go, a little side note, just every once in a while I'll mention cigars and somebody ask about the cigars I like. I did get to smoke a Cuban uh, Cohiba here a couple of weeks ago and that was really nice but Cuban cigars are not uh, not as special as some people make them out to be. It's just neat because it's Cuban. It doesn't particularly taste any better or smoke any better or anything else. That's not just my opinion. That's a lot of people's opinion. But look at there. We got a very, very, very nice shave out of all of that. And we're going to top it off with some Lustres Coachman, which is a fancy name for Pinald uh, Clubman. They put it in a fancy label fancier label but it's still exact same thing as near as i can tell i can't tell any difference at all and again i'm not the only one that says that there's there's other people that have noted that uh coachman's lustre is just rebranded phenol clubbing they about the same people even so you know i guess it's just made for a different market who knows all right so there you go so i'm uh fixing to get ready for work so i can roll on out and go in and make a night be working with uh, some of the newer guards tonight. I always enjoy training. Uh, it's uh, it's fun training the new guards and uh, making sure everything's going good. Part of what I do. Y'all have a great day. Hope wherever you are, the weather's treating you good, and that you're uh, you know, if you're in a cold spot, staying warm. If you're in a warm spot, staying cool. Stay dry, and uh, happy shaves to you.